They're known as the rainforests of the ocean, and coral reefs are one of the world's oldest ecosystems. But over the last few decades, almost half of all coral has either been destroyed or degraded by climate change, pollution and storm damage. Nice big step. Until recently, environmentalists have battled to find a way to replace and restore these vital organisms. But this project aims to change all that. The growth here has been so prolific, this programme has been so successful, that it may end up being a model for the entire planet. So let's just go and see what they're working on today. Scientists began planting these coral farms three years ago, and against the odds, they thrived. When we get these corals out there and we start to see them growing, and we're seeing them starting to spawn, and they're really getting on their way, it's one of the most rewarding feelings I've gotten, working in the marine environment. It just, I see it out there and it's like, all right, we're actually making a difference. We're getting... The coral is grown in a nursery for about a year before being transplanted to a wild reef. And if all goes well, these colonies will help rebuild coral reefs everywhere. Ken Nedermeyer is the pioneer behind techniques he says are easy to teach. If we want to restore our coral reefs, we've got to do it ourselves. Um, we can use government money, we can use scientists' help, but ultimately we have to come up with some sort of a solution that engages the average person. We've run into a lot of... Uh, exciting people and people excited about this and the more we run into the more we train the more likely it is to succeed. Fish and marine life has already begun to reappear here bringing hope that restoration programs like this can make a real difference. Andy Gallica, Al Jazeera, Big Pine Key, Florida.